Hello everyone and welcome to the last lesson on limericks. We're going to have a go at writing our own limerick. Let's try it. I'll try and give you some ideas and some clues. And if you hit the link below, you'll see that there's a kind of writing frame. It'll give you some ideas and a little bit of a structure to start with. Right, let's remind ourselves what we need to do. So we're trying to write a limerick. It needs five lines. And we need two longer lines at the start, then two shorter ones, and then one long one at the end. The first two rhyme with each other, then the next two rhyme with each other, but not with the first two, and then at the end, the last line rhymes with the first two. That's what we call A-A-B-B-A -B -B -A for the rhyme scheme. We want something silly or funny because this is nonsense poetry and we've got to think about using the syllables in the words so that the lines seem to bounce along with a rhythm, which is a kind of a da 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 So, shall we try? Let's have a go. There was... There was. Now, I'm thinking about what Edward Lear does in his limericks. There was... He chooses somebody. There wasn't an, an old man. There was an old man from... Now, we need to think of a place, but we've got to choose somewhere which has got a lot of rhymes. Remember, if you're stuck for a rhyme with this, if you look in the link below, you will see that I've put the, a link to a rhyming dictionary online called Rhyme Zone. There was an old man from New York who decided... Now, hold on. York. I've got it. Fork. Fork. Who decided to eat with a fork. Stop. That's not crazy enough. Because that's easy. You can easily eat with a fork. So I'm going to change that. Who decided to drink with a fork. That's better, isn't it? Because that's a crazy thing to do. Who decided to drink with a fork. It was all going well. Remember, my third line, shorter. It was all well fine. Because fine rhymes with wine. Hmm. Got to think ahead to my rhymes. It was all going fine until they brought him his wine that crazy old man from New York, that peculiar old man, want something that talks about him being strange. Two syllables or three, that peculiar, that peculiar old man of New York. Remember, in the last line, you can always go back and use the same word from the first line. Now, you don't have to stick with that. You could change lots of things. There was a young girl from... Now, I'm going to go for Dundee in Scotland, because there are a lot of rhymes with E. Who decided, I'll keep that, who decided to live up a tree? Ride on a donkey? Who decided to live up a tree? Hmm. What could I do now? You think about it. If you want to keep it going, she's got to do something crazy. It's a terrible idea. 
Maybe she could do something that is just not at all about trees. Maybe she puts a box up there or hides in with a fox. I don't know. You could think about it. And at the end, you'll go back to that crazy young girl from Dundee. Good luck, guys. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your limericks. Remember to read them out to an adult and hear how they go with the rhythm and the rhyme. And I'm sure you're going to have fun having a go. Okay, guys, keep safe. See you soon. Bye.